Now he's uh, just about three months, um, 11 weeks. 11 weeks old. Yeah. And we saw her doing some pretty neat stuff today. Uh, we see her go to her place. That's right. On command. Okay. And uh, she's learned no bite when we tell her not to bite. And not to jump when we say off. Exactly. She knows leave it if we ask her to leave something. Mm -hmm. She comes to you when called. Mm -hmm. as, as good as a puppy can anyway. Right. Right. We understand right. we're talking about a puppy and exactly. she's not going to be perfect. I wanted to film you guys because... I don't normally do remote training, as I told you, with young puppies, mm -hmm. okay? Because people have a tendency at first to, once they discover how great their dog is doing, to want mm -hmm. to do a little too much with the remote. And my concern is for the puppy and that people don't rush things. But we spoke, and you already had a remote of your own. Right. And I said, as long as you agree to follow <laughs> what I'm showing you, we're going to be okay. Exactly. And so we went along with it that way. Right. Um, I think the, re the results are pretty outstanding. I'm very, very impressed with your dog. As far as the remote goes, did you find it hard to learn to use to train your dog? I think with, uh, I mean, with the right approach and, and guidance on how to use it, I think it's pretty straightforward. I mean, once you know how to time time the remote with the with the correction then then it works perfectly right so it's really the approach on it's not just having a remote color it's how to use right. it correctly well you originally got this from a friend of yours right, right. And how well did the remote work out for him? It didn't work at all. Right. Right. Now, if I understood you, you said he just got it and tried pressing tried buttons different. and, right. you know, basically whatever happens, happens. Exactly. And so obviously whatever happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's like anything else. I tell people, you know, you wouldn't buy a scalpel off the internet and then try and operate on your little brother. That's right. To me, a remote caller is the same thing. It's a powerful tool. Mm -hmm. And it could be great or it could be horrible depending on whose hands it's in. But obviously, you guys did a very good job with that and I commend you for that. Um... How would you describe your dog's day-to-day -day attitude? Has the remote changed your dog in any way? Uh, not at all. Uh, she's still a very happy, playful puppy. Right, as we very can see here. Very energetic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think the remote collar has been a win-win for us and the dog. Well, thanks a lot for the interview, folks. Oh, I appreciate it. My pleasure. It. We appreciate your help. Oh, yeah. I think it really helped us at least guide us in the right direction. And yeah, and this, is, and this as, as great as she is now, this is just the start. Mm -hmm. Four or five months from now, you won't believe what she's doing compared to today. But I'm I'm very excited for a lot of people to see what a three-month-old puppy can do with the right training because there are a lot of three- and four-year-old dogs that aren't even doing what your dog is doing at this point. And so I think with a dog like yours and the right training, the sky's the limit. And it's, it's just a question of time now, of practicing and, and building right. on the foundation we've created. You have a tremendous dog.